okay welcome back to this video today i'm going to show you how to drive your system online how to configure your vga how to configure your bluetooth you know install your bluetooth driver as you can see my vga is not drived i'm going to show you how to get it drived using online drivers drivers pack 13 and also how you can be able to configure your network your video card your bluetooth so what you're going to do is head on to your chrome or browser and type driver pack 13 so you just search this then you open you click on install all required drivers then automatically it's going to download a file for you which is this pro.start then open your download you open this product starts you just open it click on it double click on it it will open but even if you didn't open you can just right click it and you see the open option then you click on open when you open it you click on start installation free when you click there you just have to allow the drivers to load while you are doing this please make sure your network is connected to the internet okay and a quick one for those of you finding it difficult to connect your system to the internet what you're going to do get your usb cord then you connect your usb cord to your laptop then plug it to your phone bring down your notification you will see the option for the usb select usb tethering automatically your phone is going to connect to the internet via your phone what you then need to do is just to on your data on your phone data then you connect choose usb tethering from your phone notification after you have connected your phone and your laptop using your usb cable so that's all for it so but if your own is connecting to the internet you're cool just connect your system to the internet then you head on and wait for this to download automatically it's going to open this page for you which will have the right drivers pack here but what you're going to do look down you will see open expert mode click on expert mode this expert mode sorry expert mode yeah so while we wait for it to load, it's going to take a while, you just allow it to load for a while. And also, please make sure your network is connected. For those of you that don't have internet connection, you use your USB cord, you plug your USB to your phone, plug it to your laptop, then bring down your phone notification. You will see the option for the USB, don't choose file transfer, you will see USB tethering option. You click on USB tethering option. Then your phone and your laptop will be connected together. Then what you're going to do is you turn on your data. That's all. Your system will be browsing to the internet. So you use this process to drive your network card or your network capability depending on the issues you're having with your network. But this only works if your network is previously working before you formatted your system. Then maybe after reloading new or installing new windows, the drivers will be missing. So using this method, you can be able to drive and install the required updated drivers back to your system. These drivers work 100% but all you need is a good internet connection to get this job done. So why we wait for this to load? So please, I would like to say if this is your first time of coming across this channel, do well to hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more videos i am ict doctor i share videos about tech about computer systems both hardware and software software guide you know laptop repairs everything that has to do with computer systems i'm going to be sharing you the updates here so make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video so here we are this is the page and um, this is where we are going to do the installation of the drivers first of all i would want you to uncheck every single thing here because it is not advisable for you to start installing the whole drivers that has been clicked you need to choose the necessary and the required drivers that made you come here if you are looking for the vga just like me i want to drive my video card and i'm using it for an example what you're going to do is look for the video card drivers and then check it so i check the bluetooth device intel because my bluetooth is not active then i check card reader retake this is for my externals when i'm reading my drivers you know my hard disk and all that so this is cheapest intel installation intel management interface this is part of the video card drivers 
then you come down you have to watch carefully while you're doing this you can see video card intel which is you have intel hd graphics 5500 so you check it that is my video card which is my vga you cannot check the drivers to click because i don't really find it necessary now so that's all then you head on to you head on to the driver's pack protection then you go down i would want you to uncheck the antivirus because it's not properly advised to run antivirus or maybe install antivirus while you are driving your computer so you go back to the software you uncheck this whole software because we are not going to store any software you just want to head on to download the video card intel drivers install it to your system and also the bluetooth device driver that we needed so that's all you need for now but then if your own if you are looking for any other thing maybe you want to drive your video card or maybe you want to drive any other maybe your bluetooth or maybe your engine interface which is part of your vga or maybe you want you are looking forward to you install probably any type of driver that you find in this um software in this program here what you're going to do is just to check it um, I wouldn't advise you to start checking everything or maybe start clicking everything it will take more time and also consume more of your data do you get but what you're going to do is to look for the ones that you need then you check them then run the installation that's all for it so you just have to wait for this to load On a quick one, I want us to turn off the Windows Defender security. You click on that um, arrow down here, you see the boss, you click on the Windows security icon, then you click on this Windows security icon too, then you come down to virus and threat protection settings, click on manage settings, then you turn off rate and protection, you check yes, then that's all for it. We need to turn this off. As you can see, my Bluetooth um, my bluetooth icon has appeared that means these drivers has installed my bluetooth and my bluetooth is active these drivers is working 100 percent all you need is a good internet connection at initial time i didn't have bluetooth after installing a new windows 11 pro in this system i didn't have any bluetooth driver but this time this driver has drived it so i'm going to wait for my video card or my vga to be drived so that's it hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop your comment in the comment section please if this video is giving you insights or maybe is helping you in any way about computer system do it to share this video to others this is ict doctor okay it's going to take a while for this installation to be completed so all you have to do is to make sure your network is active and also wait for a while for this installation to be completed once the installation is completed your system automatically will tell you that it's completed and you just restart your system so hold on to it and wait for it to be completed make sure you watch this video to the end So this is taking more than expected and I don't want to waste your time. So all you need to do is wait for this installation to be completed. I'll be ending this video here, although I'm very certain and I'm very sure that this is going to complete, but it's because of time, I wouldn't want to keep you here waiting. So you head on to do this and also wait for your own to be completed. Just make sure your network is active and that's all for it. My Bluetooth has already installed so i'm waiting for my vga to also install so that's it thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next video like and subscribe